Well, if you had a long holiday weekend and went back to work today, you may have noticed the price of gas has gotten expensive again. Yeah, it is going back up again. I think it will affect the inflation a little bit. It's a Monday surprise at the pump. I do notice it, but I try not to pay attention. Now. We pay attention. Across Florida, AAA says gas took a double-digit jump in a week from 336 a gallon to 350. And in West Palm, it's now at 366 a gallon. Port St. Lucie, 355. Blame it all on the hurricane, say the experts. Uh, oil prices are a global commodity, and that price is driven by speculation, concerns about the potential of impacts to supply and demand. Mark it's Jenkins at Florida AAA says it was fear over Hurricane Barrel hitting the Gulf Coast of Texas. In South Florida, all of our gas is delivered by sea. It's why we had a mini gas crisis in April of 2023 when flooding damaged Port Everglades and had empty tanker trucks lined up. You know, keep in mind here in Florida, the majority of our gasoline comes from the Gulf Coast region. So refineries in Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi. So if there's a major interruption, especially a long term interruption on the supply channels, then you would expect to see prices go up pretty dramatically. And once the price at sea goes up, it ends up at our gas pumps. Alex Fernandez owns this station on Southern Boulevard. Um, as of today, what we were seeing is was actually going to go. It was going down about a penny. So there wasn't that big disruption as they thought. Right. But at the end, you, me, we kind of all pay as it went up. We all pay the extra price. So the good news here is as Hurricane Barrel goes away, gas supplies should get back to normal and hopefully prices start to come down a bit. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.